Hi, this is Gilly, Radio Prepper. My VRM5080 has gone senile. I thought I would be first, but uh, it lost its memory. <laughs> so, the channel memories. Uh, there are 10 channels you can program in this gigantic, heavy radio, and they're gone. So, there is a battery inside that uh, I need to replace, and that's what I'm going to do in this video, which probably would only be of interest to people who own a VRM5080 or I don't know, it might be entertaining uh, nevertheless so let's do it so the instructions say to lay it on its right side which it is now opening the front and inside here are racks it's all rack mounted so the problem is that you can't get the racks out um, without unscrewing some of these nuts or bolts and I'm not sure which ones so uh, these are marked so I'm gonna try the Philips ones here on the side first the problem is that I don't know inside which module the battery is so I'm gonna have to check them all out or until I find the battery I'm gonna start with the uh, RX module who knows or maybe no that might not be it there is OSC IOA OG, 5YN, SYN, SYN synthesizer, SEC, I don't know, uh, OG, okay, why not? What I really like on this radio is that all the screws are trapped, so when you unscrew them, you can't remove them, so you can't lose them. I really have to be careful not to damage the uh, ribbon cable here, otherwise it's game over. The other side is the RF amplifier side and it's a massive heatsink. And here are the racks. And I have to remove this bar here. One, two, three, fourth one. Uh, let's try that on the other side. It is moving. Maybe the screw is not unscrewed all the way. And I got it. <laughs> now I have to open it up. But actually, the big Phillips screws on the side here were the ones. And guess what, guys? I had a 25% chance. And here's the battery. It says uh, lithium 3.5 volts on it. And the battery I have is the same size, but it's I think it's 3 volts. So uh, I hope that's not going to be a problem. Here's the replacement battery. I just found it on eBay. I measured the new batteries at 3.26 volts. Should be all right. As to the old battery, well, <laughs> there's not much left. And that's it. Let's close the box. Done. And remember guys, the battery is in this one. All right, smoke test, it is on. All right, so programming channel zero, and that's already it. Let's program channel one through nine. Channel one program 51525 prog. No, it's, it wants the uh, receive frequency, same one. 51525 prog again, and that's done. Now if I do channel zero, 51500 channel 1 51525 <laughs> let's see if the uh, it keeps its memory now back in channel 0 yes <laughs> channel 1 it's working have a good one